Welcome to My Math Lab for School. You are currently looking at the home page. On the top right, students can get information about getting started, frequently asked questions, technical support, and browser check information. They click here to sign in. The same information is located on the bottom left for students as well. You can learn more about a product overview and features and benefits by clicking on the top left. Please note, the browser check that was mentioned earlier is extremely important. You can run it here or you can choose to run it inside your course. Running the browser check ensures that your computer is using the correct versions of software that's required for you to see the materials inside your course. Let's take a look at a course. Inside of my Math Lab course, you will see some variation on the course menu on the left. Teachers can customize what this looks like to students. Regardless of how the menu is displayed, there's a lot of information available here. For example, your teacher may have some information about resources available to students. You have course tools where you can access, for example, email to communicate with others in your class, discussions, or key documents for your course. You have an extensive multimedia library, which may include additional resources such as a student workbook or some video guidelines. You can click on a chapter and click to review all resources. In most cases, this includes animations, videos, an ebook, and PowerPoints. Let's learn more about assignments. You may have separate buttons for assignments in your course, such as homework and quizzes and tests, or you may simply have one button that says assignments. Let's take a look at what homework would look like. Here is a graphing question from Algebra where a student is asked to explain what type of format y equals mx plus b is in. So they can click the drop down menu to enter their answers as they work through the question. Then they can check their work and they can move to another question. Here the student is asked to find the equation of the line with given slope and y-intercept. The student can click here to enter their answer. Notice they do have a math palette at the bottom of the screen. This is also available on a mobile player. Should the student need additional assistance, they can click on the top right for question help. They can have a step-by-step -step assisted work-through process using Help Me Solve This, or they can view an example. They can link to their textbook, or if they're still stuck, they can ask their instructor. If the option's enabled, they can also choose to print this and work it on paper or take it in to ask a teacher a question. Whenever they are done working on homework at the time, they can save their work and return to that assignment later. There may or may not be a grade penalty for work completed after a due date. On a quiz, on a quiz, a student will not have learning aids. They will need to go through and complete each exercise and submit the quiz. Then they will be able to review their work and potentially use learning aids to check their answers. Let's submit our quiz. Now we have the option to review our work. Notice in this particular case, some of the questions also have animations or videos available to help us understand better the concepts that we missed. If we click Go to Results, we can access our gradebook page. On the gradebook page, we can see our work throughout the course, over the last two weeks, the past month, or the entire course to date. We can also focus on specific assignments, homework, quizzes, tests, or even study plan information. Notice as I'm working through the course, I may have prompts as to things that I need to work on next. This is part of what is called the study plan. Let's take a look at the study plan. In this particular course, the study plan is set as a prerequisite for tests or quizzes to help students better prepare on the areas they're still struggling with. In this particular example, we're looking at a Chapter 1 quiz and we have a study plan to help us better prepare. Notice here that we can practice particular objectives, take little quizzes on those objectives, 
and watch a video if needed. The student may use the study plan just for practice or they may be required to complete a specific number of objectives before they can take a test. When they are ready to take their test, they will have passed this red line in the study plan. In addition to the resources we looked at earlier, you may also find a Tools for Success page on your course menu. These tools for success may include study guides, vocabulary cards, flashcards, review cards, activities, projects, and calculator help, either for TI-30 or graphing calculators, for example. In addition, when you are working inside of my Math Lab course, there's always a small question mark in the top right-hand corner that you can click to access help and support. Good luck, and welcome to my Math Lab.